as you go now, one of my favorite YouTubers on here, Gun Geek, uh, made a video showing off his first guns, uh, starter guns, that kind of thing. So I thought I'd show off my three first guns. Um, my first first gun, my first shotgun, and my first real rifle. So we'll start off for, with my first gun. This one here, it's a Model 74 Savage Arms. It's a 22 long rifle. I think it shoots, uh, it'll shoot a number of ones. I know it'll shoot uh, 22s, 22 short. 22 short, 22 long, or 22 long rifle. Uh, 22 long and 22 long rifle are actually two different things, if you didn't know that. They are a little different. But it's just a little, you know, drop gate, whatever you call those. Uh, this gun has had so many rounds through it, it's not even funny. I mean, I've put just box after box of 22s down this. I don't even know if the barrel's any good anymore. No, actually, it's still pretty bright. Rifling's still good. It's a tack driver, though. I had it out, I think, two years ago is the last time I really shot it. But I used to hunt squirrel with this, too. Um, so this is my little starter gun. Probably one of my favorite guns in the collection. But it's a nice little gun. I actually gave this to my brother as his first gun, too, but I got it back from him uh, a couple years ago. I forget what I gave him for it, but it's one of my favorites. You know. My first, well, the next gun I got, actually, at the age of 12, was this. My first shotgun. And I have a full set of chokes for it. I shot trap and skeet with this for a long time until I got my better guns. Um, still, if somebody, one of my family members, friend, says, hey, let's go hunting, um, small game, this is the gun I grab. Uh, it's a 20 gauge, it's a uh, Mossberg 500C, which is a 20 gauge version. It's one of my favorite shotgun calibers too because it doesn't have as much kick as a 12 gauge and you can get on target faster. So when I'm hunting rabbit or uh, grouse or pheasants, that's kind of nice because you might get another shot. Uh, it's probably the best shotgun I've had. Um, I played around with 870s and other pump actions. Just the 500's always been my favorite, and it's, you know, a $300 gun. I can hold it like this, growing, going through heavy brush and keep the stuff out of my face, and it doesn't really matter. And even, even after doing that for years and years and years, there really aren't any scratches on the gun. There's a bunch of nicks and stuff on the stock, but that's actually probably from the gun safe I have them in uh, for the last couple of years. But overall, probably my favorite. Uh, shotgun I've got, even though I've got much more expensive and much nicer ones, it's still probably my favorite. And then there's my first real rifle, a gun you guys have never seen because the ammo for it's expensive. I actually picked two boxes of ammo up for it uh, at the show. It's a uh, 3030 Marlin lever action. This is my first real deer rifle. Mm, nothing in it. Let's do it twice. Just but this is my first real rifle rifle and wonderful gun wonderful caliber expensive caliber um, I can't really for some reason I can't find really cheap ammo for this around and unless you buy the lever revolution you have to use flathead with this because it's got a tube magazine and if you got a pointed tip sitting on the primer the next one it can go off so you have to buy the flathead trying to find flathead cheap 3030 Winchester almost impossible um, it exists you can find it online for like 15 bucks a box but I can't find it anywhere around here and I don't feel like paying for the shipping uh, so what I did for you guys my next video is I picked up a box of reloads from a guy I know at the show I know their quality for 15 bucks once fired brass with the Hornady Lever Revolution tip in it. it seems a waste to sh waste those on uh, just shooting paper, but oh well. So I'll be shooting off 20 rounds of that in my next uh, shooting video. But those are my three um, first guns. I haven't shot this thing in years, actually. Last time I went hunting, I just used my uh, 270 and my uh, 
223 in deer hunting. Um, since I've been doing a lot of black powder and not so much rifle the last couple of years, this thing has really just kind of sat around. So I haven't fired this in a good long time, actually. This was my grandfather's rifle, uh, my dad's side, but he gave it to me. So um, that's a little video. And now a little funny video of the ferret. Here you go. Wet ferret, wet ferret, wet ferret, yeah, wet ferret, wet ferret. She's got a bath and she is not at all happy about that. Ow, ow, ow.